How's it everybody? Welcome back to the Rocky Fern. My name is Luca and I have OI Type 4. And if you're new here, I post every Tuesday and Friday, mainly about my plant garden here in Hawaii. And I do species spotlights. Um, and in today's episode of Show Me the Green, we're checking out the Hoya Species Affinity Aglariana Vietnam. So let's get into it. Okay, so Hoya uh, Species Affinity Aglariana Vietnam. Starting at the roots of this plant, it is rooted in, um, or can be found rather, um, in the cloud forests of Vietnam. So it typically is in, enjoying um, cooler, more higher humidity days and maybe a little bit less light. Um, up in those higher regions. Um, there's not a lot of information about this plant in situ, which I think would be amazing to see um, firsthand experience. But being kept here in captivity in my house here in Hawaii and Kauai, it's been a great, great Hoya. It's one of my favorites. Um, it is being kept in a very airy aeroid mix. And because we've been having pretty hot days, I mean, average 84 degrees, um, with a lot of trade winds, a lot of movement. These pots, even though they're plastic, dry out quite a bit. So I've had to water them about twice a week, sometimes three times a week. And the plant seems to be kicking butt. Um, the information I could find about this particular um, Hoya is that they are much hardier, hardier than the Hoya glariana. And that's proven true for me. The leaves of this plant are so cool. So this plant kind of looks like rosemary, kind of like an herb, but if you're into Hoyas, it definitely looks like Hoya linearis slash Hoya lanceolata bella. It definitely has this very unique look to it. The leaves are long and elliptical. There's a major mid vein running down the middle of the vein, rather the middle of the leaf. Um, a beautiful color, rosemary green color to it. On the underside of the leaf, you can definitely see that mid vein running underneath. And the newer leaves kind of have this concave shape to them, but the older leaves are very succulent feeling, very thick, and um, they definitely don't concave. They actually fill in that um, void with flesh. And some days, on hot days, I'll see that this plant, the underneath the skin, the dermis of the older leaves, kind of, it's swollen a little bit, a little, um, a little swollen. but. I haven't lost any of the leaves. And um, as we move up through different characteristics of the leaves, I have had uh, mealybugs on this and I've also had spider mite, but they've been very easily treated um, and it bounced back very well. Um, the Hoyas on the Hoya wall that are being kept in pond are showing signs of being a little underfed. So I've bumped up the feeding or I've transferred them over to a aeroid slash Hoya mix, which seems to be doing the trick. As we move up into the stems, it definitely has a unique growth pattern. I think it would be a beautiful hanging basket. Um, it could even be a very cool looking, uh, very cool climber. I think it would be just very unique and something to kind of set apart your other collection. Um, it kind of has a Hoya polyneuro growth to it where it starts high and drops, but unlike Pioneer where it drops down and kind of picks back up to give you a shoulder, the Eglariana species affinity Vietnam kind of just droops out and down and it's kind of more of a the Bella growth form. A beautiful, beautiful plant. Uh, we'll move into the flowers. So as you can see on this peduncle, this flower peduncle has seven flowers, which I guess is typical for this um, species. Um, regular Aglariana only has typically four um, blossoms per peduncle, and it had multiple peduncles. It had, you know, 10 peduncles. It did abort quite a few. There's a few that are on here still, but we've been having this major heat wave. Um, and unlike the normal Hoya glariana that I guess can be pretty temperamental, this plant is a juggernaut. It just keeps chugging along. So even with the heat wave, even with a ton of rain that we had a few weeks ago, um, it's, it's growing strong. I treated it, like I said, for the spider mite and the milliworm or millibug, and it's coming back. Beautiful, beautiful structures, multiple growth points. And this, this peduncle is just gorgeous. So 
smelling I'm a little sick right now if you couldn't tell um, so I couldn't detect a, a scent on this but it is a beautiful plant um, you can see that the growth is just very refined I, I, I really enjoy this plant um, so if you haven't had a chance to get one of these for yourselves and are on the fence definitely definitely do it if you have any more questions about the Hoya species affinity, a Glariana Vietnam, definitely send a comment over. I answer all my comments. And as always, if you like what you see, make sure to subscribe. Uh, give a thumbs up because it helps out the video a lot. And we'll see you guys on the next adventure.